gosh, y'all. Look at my glass. Oh, this was worth every scrape. Do you understand? Hi friends. So I have another super satisfying, huge transformation cleaned with me today with some cleaning motivation because I am cleaning my disgusting oven, okay? This oven is bad, y'all. I have two ovens, both of them are pretty bad. The top one is the worst because I used that one the most. And to be honest, y'all, I probably haven't cleaned this oven my mother-in-law, I take that back, I've never cleaned this oven, but my mother-in-law cleaned it many years ago. I would say at least six, seven years ago. Listen, don't come for me in the comments. It is what it is. That's why we're here now together, doing this together, okay? So I was on TikTok, where I get most of my cleaning motivation these days, and I found this. So it worked on her oven, but my oven is really bad. I don't think I've seen anybody's oven on TikTok as bad as mine, but the goal here, my friends, is to see if I can look through the glass. I just wanna be able to cut the light on and look through the glass when I cut it on, because now I just can't do that. That's enough of me yapping. Go, let me go ahead, at least take the racks out. I'm gonna clean my racks in my downstairs bathroom in the tub down here. I'm gonna just soak that with some Dawn and pray that this, beautiful blue solution of fluff works. Okay y'all, so this is the top rack oven. This one is the one that's the worst. I mean, I just don't even know. Like, I just wanna be able to cut the light on and be able to look, not at myself and the reflection, but what's cooking in the oven, you know? Let me do the racks first. So I'm gonna take this rack out, um, these two racks, and then I have, this is the bottom oven where this one isn't as bad, isn't as bad, but, and you can see, but, Still, it needs to be cleaned. I'm gonna take all of my extra um, baking dish, baking racks that I leave in here out, and I'm gonna soak these racks as well. Something that did help, you know, when my mother-in-law the last time she cleaned my oven, she put foil at the bottom, and it does help. It picks up a lot, so the bottom is actually very clean underneath for both of them. This is just heavy-duty foil, so the bottom is really clean actually. But I'm gonna take this foil out. Spray the whole thing down, girl, and pray that this solution works. So let me go ahead and get the racks out, just so you can see how the racks are, how bad they are. It's pretty gross. <laughs> Should be a silver color. All right, um, let me go ahead and get these in the tub. All right, so I laid a towel down because I don't want to scratch my tub up. So I'm smelling my knockoff Dawn. This is great value Dawn because I didn't want to use my good name brand Dawn, girl, if this isn't going to work because I have a cup is a lot. So anyway, I laid a towel down. I'm gonna put the water on as hot as I can get it and pour this over the racks and let it sit overnight. The next day. Okay y'all, plot twist, it's the next day. And I actually had to move the grates upstairs, my upstairs bathroom because the water kept draining in the downstairs bathroom. But as you can see, that Dawn went to work, didn't it? I put it in, in as hot as I can get it water. The same thing, I just poured the Dawn in, I just moved it up here, or the great value <laughs> Dawn, but it looks really good. And so like when, I'm just scraping this lightly. Look, it's light, I'm just scraping this lightly and it's coming right off. So I can't imagine bending down, girl, to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hashtag save my back and use this. This is my tub, little, I don't know, mop, I guess. That saves me from having to bend down and clean the tub out. But I'm gonna try to see if I can use this to just gently wipe it off, since it's literally just wiping off. I don't know, y'all know. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna see because this is 
the one that's on top is not the one that's the dirtiest. So let me see. Okay, y'all, so I am trying to scrub this down. It's coming off a little bit, but is it shining like I want it to? No, I may need to add a little bit of Barkeeper's Friends to this because I really want this thing to shine, girl. I want it shining, 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 yeah. You know, the big pieces, like the big black chunks are falling off, but these two grates were the ones that weren't as bad. They were in the bottom oven. So these ones aren't too bad. I am just, just scrubbing it. Again, a little bit's coming off. Here. We continue to scrub. Now these are the ones. These are the bad ones here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's coming right off. Look at that. Oh. It's coming right off. I hope I didn't because I really need to continue to use that. All right, so now I just wiped this top bar off and all of that came off. I didn't even have to really rub it hard. I'm not even like rubbing it hard. I'm just rubbing each spindle firmly and it's literally falling right off, right off. Here, I want these to look brand spanking new, girl. I needed to do this. I mean, this was clearly really long overdue. So I'm just gonna take my time and get it done. This is really satisfying, I must say. Seeing all of the gunk here, see all of this? It's so satisfying to see it fall. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like, is anybody really gonna notice how clean these are besides me? <laughs> No, but I just, I'm hoping that the other concoction that I'm going to make to clean the inside is going to be as clean as these are gonna be. I really hope they're as clean, it's gonna be as clean as these are going to be, girl, because I'm, I'm gonna have these shining. Because after I do this, I'm going to go over everything with a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend. Every little piece is going to be some shining silver, if you know what I mean. You know, so I'm just gonna continue on. I'm still on my first one. All right, y'all. So time for me to get the barkeeper's friend out. See this corner here? Let's see, you can see how yucky it is. Take a little bit of barkeeper's friend. You can get this at Target, Walmart, anywhere really. Kroger, grocery store. And I'm gonna take it on the rag like this. And now I'm just going to put a little elbow grease in there. See that? Some little elbow grease. I'm pressing pretty hard here. I feel like I should get a toothbrush, like a really hard toothbrush. Hmm. Wow, it's coming off. I mean, I'm having to really scrub, but it is coming off. You see that corner there? It is coming off nicely. This corner I did already, look at that one. And this was the really dirty grate, like the filthy dirty grate. This one was the nasty one. So it, it is looking a lot better. And this barkeeper's friend is just adding that final touch that we need. Not gonna lie, it's looking pretty good. Look at her. One down, 
three more to go. That took a really long time. Look at all these little pieces. <laughs> I have my kids chair in here. All these little pieces here. How refreshing, okay? Because at least it's off of the grate. You know, I can easily vacuum this up and throw these um, bath mats in the wash, but I'm feeling really good, girl. I'm feeling really, really good. Okay, y'all, I got two down. They're looking pretty good, aren't they? Look at my girls shining over there. <laughs> so now I'm going to do this third one, y'all. I've been at it for about, I'd say 45 minutes, so I'm kind of tired, but let's get to it. This one isn't as bad for sure. This one just needs to be shined up. the difference in this because this one is not coming out like these two these two look beautiful and those are the were the really really nasty ones on my top oven this one it's not shining as much can you see it compared it's like this these parts are coming off let's see sorry my light is now the sun wants to come back out but th this part it's not like the other ones see this is not, it's like very rusted. It's not shiny compared to like this. What can I do? The barkeeper's friend is not working. See this down here? Look at that corner compared to that corner. What can I do? Why is this happening? It looks like it's oxidized and there must be something else I need to put on it to make it like that shiny silver again. Leave a comment down below and let me know what I can do. All right, y'all, I am done. <laughs> These last two, like I said, are just not a shiny but they are clean <laughs> so there's no gunk on in them at all i scrubbed every spindle and all of that look at that guys oh my goodness i gotta clean this up before my husband sees it he's gonna be like what happened <laughs> i'm like we're gonna have a beautiful brand new stove anyway all right let me let the water out and clean this tub up real quick all right i'm about to make the concoction to clean the glass and the inside of my um, oven. So according to TikTok, all right, we need a half a cup of dish soap, a quarter cup of white vinegar, and a cup and a half of baking soda. So I'm gonna mix everything together and pray that this works, y'all.
how juicy this looks. Look at this, how satisfying. All right. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is so satisfying. How satisfying is this? It's like gunk. I don't know how else to explain it. It's like adult slime and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I don't think it's supposed to be this thick, y'all. What did I do wrong? Is it supposed to be this thick? The girl on TikTok, hers, is, I gotta add a little bit more vinegar so it's not so thick. <laughs> I'm loving this. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's a little bit better. Maybe I should use a metal spoon. This plastic spoon is like so, not even a strong plastic spoon. There we go. Is it? I don't know if it's supposed to be this gunky, but I'm just going to let it be this gunky and see if, maybe just add a little bit more, girl. I'm getting happy now. I'm getting like really into it. Sizzle up. Watch the sizzle. Huh? I'm here for the sizzle. There we go. Oh yeah. I needed a little bit more. I want to see the sizzle. Vinegar. Okay, the girls want to see the sizzle. Ava, come here, wait! Shh, shh not so loud, please. Hurry up. Okay, that's it. See it sizzling? See it sizzling, girls? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, y'all, so this is how it's just gonna be. It's all over my hand. Let me go ahead and get ready to put it in the oven, because I could do this all night like this, just mixing and adding and mixing and adding but our goal is not to play our goal is to see if this will clean my nasty oven all right y'all so i have this sponge this is similar to sponge daddy i don't have a sponge daddy though let me show you what it is i have this non-stick scrubber i don't know if i should use this but like who i saw on tiktok using doing this it was like a sponge daddy sponge and this is very similar to a sponge daddy and then I also have this stainless steel scrubber. I don't know if it's safe to use on glass. I don't want to scratch it. It says safe on non-coated cookware, grill grates, broiler cans, and more. I don't know. I also have a scraper, a metal, a um, plastic scraper. Just in case. So I'm going to start off with this. And what I will do is put our gunk, that's what you want to call it, on half. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. Oh my gosh, I forgot a step. I gotta do something first before we do this. I need to vacuum a little bit, like in here, around the dusty part. I wanna vacuum to get any crumbs up. There aren't many crumbs, because like I said, I'm gonna pull the foil up, but there are like, see that, the dust right there? I'm gonna vacuum that up, and then there's a lot of crumbs. See all those crumbs? I gotta get those up. So let me do that first. A few moments later. Okay, the vacuum didn't work because everything's kind of like stuck in there. So I have a cleaning rag here and a butter knife. Putting the cleaning rag around the butter knife and I'm going to do this. Because girl, my OCD is in full effect, girl. The rest of my house is a mess, but listen, this oven is gonna be clean. Look at that. That's so gross. It's a better look. It's all clean. And so I will have to do, let me do the other side. Look at that. Very satisfying, very, very satisfying. So now I'm gonna go in between the little cracks here. It's not a little crack, but just it's like dirty like kind of like a grease build up here. Wow, look at that. It's 
from the grease. Oh, this is gross. I've never cleaned here, y'all. Never cleaned it before. All right, that there's a lot of grease, like underneath here. I may have to take the door off. I'm not gonna tell my husband, girl, because listen, he'll freak. I think, but let's just start with cleaning this, okay? Let's start with this. All right, let me pour everything on there. I'm just gonna pour it on here. It's starting to harden a little bit. Let me see. I'm so excited, y'all. I cannot wait to scrub right now. I'm like really looking forward to it. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, I don't know. Oh, wow. Look. I don't know if it has to sit. Does this need to sit? I don't know. I need some water. It's like so gunky. I need it to like, I don't know. I just need it to suds up a little bit. There we go. That's better. I don't know if this is, how long do I need to have to let this sit? I'm like I'm scared y'all, this is not gonna work. I'm really, I'll probably cry if this doesn't work. I mean, I want this stuff to just come up but you probably just have to let it sit for a while. Look at this, this is so beautiful, isn't it? Look at those little circles. If this isn't satisfying to you, are you even human? Really though, really though. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to let this sit. I don't know how long though. All right, I'm breaking out this big down here. I'm gonna try this to see if this helps. I hope I'm not ruining anything ever. Oh yeah, wait. See, I don't know, it's just like, I don't know if I should do that or not, cause it's not, I guess it needs to sit. I'm assuming it needs to sit. I don't know, I have no idea. Should I use a regular sponge? It's coming up over here. It is definitely coming up. All right, y'all. I'm gonna let this sit for a while and see. All right, y'all, I'm just going to, how satisfying is this? I'm gonna get this all in here. I might have to take my door off. So I looked online and these hinges here come off. Like you, you pull the hinges back on both sides and then you just kind of lift up at a this 45 degree angle and it's supposed to come off. I don't know if I should try this though. I'm a little scared. At least let me get this stuff on. I should have thought about this before I put everything, all the gunk, the magic gunk on here. But I don't know, y'all, I'm starting to think. Mm, is this working? All right, y'all, I am going to take this door off. Now, say a little prayer for me, because I don't want to have to, I don't want to drop this girl, because listen, this is, my husband is will go to 100 if I drop this door. Um, now online it said all you gotta do is okay okay I did it that was pretty easy I'm scared I'm scared y'all I'm scared all right all right here I go I'm scared I feel like my husband's gonna get so upset. Oh. Uh, okay, there. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Don't don't try this at home. Oh, babe. Can you come here? I'm scared. He's gonna he's gonna look so crazy, y'all. Let me see if I could get his face. I don't even know if I could get his face. Here he comes. I'm not filming. Okay, I'm not filming you. I'm filming me. I'm trying to. Um... <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? How am I looking at you? But I'm you're listening to what you're, you're saying. You're looking. If you can see his face right now, he's looking at me like. It's on. What are you about to tell me? Okay, listen. I just need you to. 
<laughs> just have an open mind. Okay, can you have an open mind? You finished? No. <laughs> you gonna be able to finish it tonight? Mm -mm. No. Well, here's the thing. I was on TikTok and um, all these cleaning hacks for um, mm. the oven was on there. This one hack. Does it still work? Yeah, it still works. It still works. It's not broken. Okay, just just keep that in mind. It's not broken. But what I'm trying to do. Can I record your face, please? <laughs> Listen, what I'm trying to do, baby, is I want you to have an open mind. The oven still works. But what I'm trying to do is remove the door. And I had Why to. Why do you need to remove the door? Well, because it's easier for me to get up in the in there to no, clean. Oh, I clean yeah. it with the door on. No, babe. See, here's the thing. I need to get in there and scrub with my concoction. Use a stepladder. Honey, it's hard. This With this, I already took the hinges down. Off of what? The do Does it work? I don't know. That's oh. what. <laughs> I need you to. Be... I Don't need. Call me until it's <laughs> Babe, please, cause Don't I. Call me until it's Babe, finished. I already started pulling it off. Don't call. Go to bed. <sighs> Y'all. <laughs> Babe, I already started pulling it up. Good luck. Can you hear him? He said, "Good luck." He said, "Good luck." He's tired of my shenanigans. You know what? What am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do? This is a horrible angle, but what am I gonna do? Let me just put this back up because I don't wanna play any games, y'all. If I, if he's not gonna help me, I do not want to try to risk this. Okay, so I just put the hinges back up. Let's see, I hope it's in here good, is it? See, the thing is, I wanna clean the inside glass too. All right, I, I don't know, y'all. He said for me to get it. He said to get a step ladder, but like, listen, all the crevices need to be cleaned, okay? And so it's hard to get in here when it's this high. It'd be easier if we just take the door off. I don't know, no, this is not working. Okay, it's working a little bit. I feel like I'm gonna have to let this sit overnight. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna let this sit overnight, and I pray that this works um, before I start putting it. Do you think I should just put it inside too? I mean, I guess what's the worst that can happen if I put it inside, right? It'll just be clean. I don't know, y'all. I just don't know. I don't know. Baking soda, um, vinegar, and Dawn. You want me to do the inside? So you don't Babe, I'm, do I want you to, do you want me to do the inside? I already did it, I'm doing the inside. You said you couldn't reach though. Well, I, it is harder. Yeah, so it would be easier right here too. to do, take the door off and then we could do the inside glass. How is the inside glass dirty? It gets dirty, trust me. This will come out clear, but you still won't be able to see through it because of the inside glass. Trust me, babe, I've been doing all my research on TikTok. <laughs> that was a joke, y'all. No, it wasn't. <laughs> all right, y'all, so I scrubbed. Oh, 
as hard as I could. And we're gonna let this sit overnight. It's six o'clock. We're just gonna have to order pizza tonight for my family. But um, I'm gonna let this sit. I'm closing this up. I don't know. I I feel like the inside glass needs to be cleaned. My husband said no, no, it doesn't. But I don't know. I feel like it does, and that's why I really want to take the door off. But <laughs> he said no, heck no. Uh, so we're just gonna leave it. We're gonna close this up and let the the concoction do its job. I hope I put enough. I try to get as much as I can in the back, but I won't know until tomorrow. So no. we'll see. Hmm. What, would you like to add a little bit, babe? Add a little what? Of the concoction. There's still a little bit left. I just you're, you're the TikTok expert, so I'm just babe. Gonna trust I'm not your, a TikTok expert. I just I'm go to trust listen. TikTok your, has all the tips. I, I understand. I'm gonna trust your resources. I know you've done extensive research. And, okay, but um, I, first of all, you tried it. Okay, second of all. It's, we'll it's not extensive happens. research. It just worked for other people. Now, the other the people it worked okay. for, their ovens weren't as bad as ours. Clearly. So we will see. Oh, I need to. So wait, you're right supposed to, you're supposed to leave this in overnight? Well, it doesn't say TikToks are only thirty seconds, babe. He's not on TikTok, so he doesn't know. Um, <laughs> they're only thirty this. seconds, and so I, I don't know. We're just gonna let this sit because mine is really bad. I'm Bring just hoping friend. that. <laughs> that it works all right friends it's the very next day I'm a little nervous because i don't know how this turned out but we're gonna see um okay i don't know y'all i it's hard and dry um hmm so should i get a wet cloth i don't know should i just wipe it off i don't know what to do it smells like dawn in here. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to try, see what works. So here I have a dry rag. Just a dry rag. I, I just really, I'm nervous, I don't know. Is this gonna work? What's right here? Girl, oh my gosh. This stuff is still on here, caked on here. Okay, well, it's coming off when I scrape it a little bit. You know, I think it needs water. Let me get some water. This is just pure water here. This water, I'm just gonna spray this section and pray that this, girl, where is the magic? Where is the magic? I got bamboozled. I mean, a little bit of it's coming off, but I'm gonna have to put some elbow grease. Like I can't just use my nail. Oh gosh. I need a scraper. I should have ordered one off of Amazon. I have this. This is like a plastic one, but I need a metal. Oh my gosh. We are gonna be here all day. All day and all night. <laughs> you guys, I think we are getting somewhere. Do you see that? Do you see it? I can see the glass. Look at that. All right, so here is what I had to do. I sprayed, I took my, wa my cloth and I wrung out some water just on it. Then I took my Dawn Power Wash, sprayed it, let it sit for a second. Then I take the scraper and scrape my life away. I'm scraping. I'm scraping, scrape, scraping. Oh, scrape, scrape. Then I take the steel wool and I'm scrubber, 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 dub, dubber, scrubber. Girl, my arm is on fire already and I only have this one little section. But listen, I at least want to get this half done and then we'll take a look at the at it, you know, to see how it's really working because I really have to wipe all the residue away to see how well it, it's working. I still have like up here to do, but this part is looking good. This is just a little ASMR for y'all. Hopefully you can hear it. All right, I have been scrubbing this section nonstop and the true star is this steel wool. Now it's the moment of truth. I'm gonna wipe it and see if this really works. All right, here's the moment of truth, you ready?
Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? It freaking worked, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you all see that? Do you see it? Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this. You guys, hold on. Let me get a better angle for y'all. Hold on. I don't think you guys understand. I'm gonna wipe it again. Are you ready? How satisfying is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at my glass. Oh. This was worth every scrape. Do you understand? Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm like shocked. I didn't expect it to work. Look at that. Hey. Wow. I'm gonna clean it with Windex. Look at that. And then look at this. All right, I'm in it now. I know it works. Let me get to scrubbing. I am getting ready to do this section here. I took some water from the, wa the cloth here and I just rang, rang it out and then I sprayed my Dawn on here, power wash. So now let's start scrubbing. I just have to do like smaller sections at a time and just get to work. see this I sprayed a little water here and then wiped it again again I really need to be cleaned with like Windex or something but look at that look at that I can see in there look at all that nastiness that's on there wow I'm like still in shock I'm so happy now the inside girl I just don't know how that's gonna work I don't know but we're still we're, we're gonna make something happen today. We're making something happen. So let me scrub the rest of this. Ooh, girl. The OCD in me is in full effect. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is just spraying the Dawn Power Wash on there, taking my steel wool scrub. You can see the difference. These are the ones that I've scrubbed already. These ones I just sprayed, and this side I haven't even touched, and the back I haven't touched either. But this glass is looking good. Once I'm able to like take some clean rags and just literally wipe everything down, it's gonna be brand new, girl. Guess what? My second oven ain't happening. I'll have to wait another couple months before I do the second oven because I just, it's team too much. But anyway, all right, let me finish scrubbing. So I just realized something. Look at the light. It's disgusting. The light is kind of warm because I've had it on since I've been scrubbing maybe for the past I don't know 45 minutes and I sprayed some Dawn power wash on there and it kind of like steamed up like I could see steam but this stuff is caked on just like everything else in here I should have put a little bit of the baking soda concoction from last night on there but I'm thinking I know you you change these bulbs once they run out I know there's a way that you can unscrew that and take that cap off if I can just talk my husband into doing that that would be wonderful but Here's a little progress update. I've scrubbed this whole side, except for this bottom part. I needed to spray some Dawn on that, but all of this, the sides have been scrubbed and it looks really good. I can see a huge difference. I don't know if you can because of all the concoction on there, but I can definitely see a huge difference. I'm just going to continue to scrub, scrub, scrub away. And at this point, you're probably asking, well, Gia, why don't you just use Easy Oven? 
it's and your self clean oven and then boom you're done the problem is easy oven smells incredibly toxic and it will stink up your entire downstairs of your house you know i have young children and i don't want that toxic smell in here and i had the the energy to do this elbow grease now i know it's not for everybody girl and i'm not judging you if you need to use easy oven use it but i just didn't have any that is non-toxic and that doesn't have such a strong scent here and i saw this online and i said i might as well give it a try <laughs> you know but yeah i'm in it now so there's no turning back look what we just did y'all i didn't record it but look what we just did listen hubby heard the struggle in here because <laughs> his office is right over there and he heard me like oh uh, and he felt bad and so i said it would be so much easier if we took the door off and so we did it. We were both a little nervous, but we did it. But at least I can like clean all in here. All in here needs to be cleaned. And now I can really get in here and get the um, my elbow grease because I was on this side. See, the wall is right here and I was really struggling, girl. My obliques are on fire right now. So I'm feeling good. Let me just go ahead and continue to scrub. I've literally just been rinsing and wiping and rinsing and wiping. Wait till you see how disgusting this water is. I mean, we're all here for a little greasy, dirty water action. So I'm almost there though, almost there. All right, y'all, I am going to change the water. I want you guys to see Ooh, how dirty this water is. It's so greasy, right? How disgusting. Oops. I don't know, I don't let my brush come out. It is pretty gross. Okay, get some fresh water here. Dirty water number two. Ooh. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's so nasty. Oh, it's nasty. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna rinse the rag out. Oops. That too, in the bucket. I just keep thinking all of that grease was in my oven and I've just been baking in there and baking. I'm thinking, will I ever use my oven again? I don't know. Maybe I just need to use my Instant Pot and Air Fryer forever because in slow cooker because <laughs> you don't ever want to do this again. It's so intense. All right, I'm pretty much done with the rest of the oven and I'll show you shortly, but I really want to try to clean this because I think this is going to make a huge difference if I can clean this like light shell off. Hubby got it off, but who knew how bright it is in my oven? Okay, I don't know if you could see the ceiling. It's pretty bad, the ceiling, but I just don't know how I can clean that without, you know, taking the boiler rack off. I'm just going to have to just, that'll just have to be, but girl, look at this. I'm going to have to soak this. It was really hot, the light. But look at how covered it is. This is going to make a huge difference. Let me go ahead and clean this. Look at that girl shining, y'all. Oh my goodness, I just wiped it down with some Lysol. Not Lysol, <laughs> I'm out of it, that's how tired I am. Windex, and she is shining beautifully. Now my husband and I are getting ready to put the door back on. All right, y'all, I am done. Oh my gosh, this is way more than I thought, but it's totally worth it. As a reminder, this is my, downs my downstairs, <laughs> my bottom oven here. This one is not as bad as the top one was. The top one was really, really bad. Let me remind you how bad it was. Yeah, it was really bad, it was really filthy. I could not look through the glass whatsoever, okay? If you remember. But now, oh my gosh, girl. Look at that glass shining, 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 yeah. All of this winning. Girl, look at this. I scrubbed and I scrubbed and look, it worked. Now listen, would it have been easier for me to just use a little easy oven? Sure, 
and you know my house would have been smelling like toxic chemicals you know I have young children so I didn't want to do that not that there's anything wrong with it I just didn't want to do it and now was this a lot of elbow grease that I had to put into this yes but girl my oven looks good okay yeah not every spot came off as you can see but but a lot of it did and I mean a lot of it I changed the foil down here to save the bottom part from getting kind of crappy and now I mean look at that that looks pretty good my oven racks look good all of it all of it looks good I must say and the best part is this is what really why I did it okay wow look at that I can actually look inside of my oven this is the bottom one <laughs> that one's pretty bad but this one I could not see at all you couldn't see anything at all and the biggest change too was cleaning the light you remember what it looked like cleaning the light fixture here was huge and that's really what made it so bright in here like a brand new oven so that is it my friends thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these type of satisfying transformational clean with me's thanks again for watching guys make sure you hit that subscribe button and join my youtube family and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.